Hello and welcome to my first room uh, of Kirby's Dreamland uh, for the Game Boy, the Nintendo Game Boy. And the reason why I chose this as my first uh, Let's Play is this was probably the first video game I ever so uh, I thought that was quite special. Uh, so let's get started here. Stage one, green greens. Um, I was a big proponent of the Game Boy when I was a kid. I love the Game Boy. Um, I had quite a few games for it. This actually wasn't... Um, this was not my first game. This was my sister's game. She got a Game Boy, I think, a year uh, ahead of me. Um, my older sister, and she had this game. And I think I and ultimately played it more than she did. Um, and uh, I loved it. I remember just that Christmas morning uh, hearing uh, the sound uh, of this music. I love the green, green hill, green, green greens, green greens music. Um, world's easiest mini boss. Stand in one place. Although, we will see. We will see how, how difficult this game can get. Uh, this is a great game. Uh, it's perfect for the Game Boy. It's a great length. You can finish the whole thing in about half an hour. And um, I'm just going to fly through it the way that I used to. I haven't played this in years, so we'll see how capable I am of flying through it. But theoretically... Um, that is one thing I love how in the, uh, whenever you play Game Boy games through uh, the Game Boy Color or the Game Boy Advance, you get, um, uh, you get the color differentiation between all the moving sprites. It's not, it doesn't make much of a difference here in, because uh, obviously in the original, uh, you would, uh, it would all be in that kind of shade of green um but um no I, I remember actually this i kept getting stuck as um like that first mini boss that was as far as i was getting uh like when i was six i'd get as far as that mini boss as i, I don't know how to kill him and um or, or I, I didn't have the the uh what's the word the ability, the dexterity is the word I was looking for, uh, to uh, to beat him. And oh, whoops! I missed that jump. Um, but yeah, then then eventually I learned how to beat him, and I went as far as and I got as far as the tree, and then the tree was the next roadblock. This is the funny thing about this game is it's as challenging as you want it to be. <laughs> All of those enemies are like, ugh, just run underneath them. Um, but again, this is a game, as I said, this was challenging when I was six years old. Um, and, uh, like, again, I'd get as far as... Each, each mini-boss was its own massive challenge because... You just didn't know what to do. Oh, I always loved this bit. Like there are great little set pieces in this game. I always love this music. Smack, 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 smack. Etc. Etc. We. Um. It is one of those games that, like, once you kind of play it quite a few times, you know how it works. You know where everything goes, so you know where you have to go and where you don't have to go. But. It is it is a nice game in that way that for for younger kids like this game in particular really taught me a lot of the basic mechanics of platform video gaming and uh, and the steep steep difficulty curve that is the extra game and uh, and we'll play through that after because that's a lot of fun it's. In my opinion, it's 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 a game is you know it's the or at least it's it's where the real challenge is because this is wonderfully simple. Uh, let's see, this is lo 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 and la la la. Right, 
faster in flight so that you're right beside the star. Cause I know what's coming. Yay! They do all the dancing. And then float islands, stage three. This always looks so painful. Ouch! No thank you. Fish hook in the mouth. Um But yeah, no, it's it's a really good game as well, is that you're able to play it I think the the flight um mechanic of the game because obviously this was the very first Kirby game this was even before he had the ability to steal enemy powers or anything so this was his most basic um, um, but what's great about it is for for young kids who are learning to play he's kind of the perfect um, um, difficulty curve because if you um, if you if if you really want to, you can run and jump most of the places. Obviously, like places like here, where you actually have to fly. But um, you know, flight is always an option. You know, you don't have to charge it whenever you want to. And because of that, you're actually able to. Uh, uh, you're actually able to avoid kind of difficult. Ah, yeah, it's a big pirate ship. Um, uh, you're able to um, concentrate way too much on this and not enough on actually talking. Um, it means, I think, for, for some kids who are not so experienced with uh, kind of jumping up and down platformers, it was a great way to learn. As a kid, I never realized that this was a, that this was a, a whale and a blowhole. I always, I always wondered, I was like, what is that? But then later you grow up and learn to read uh, what 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 those pixel. I like this boss fight. I like the noise he makes whenever he gets hit. And like burn it. In the extra game. This guy is probably the most difficult because he's, n well, not next to impossible to dodge, but he's very difficult to dodge. Yay! Stage four, bubbly clouds. The music of this level always reminded me of Mr. Bean when I was a kid. I always just thought it sounded like Mr. Bean. Clouds. Whoa! Let's not fall into oblivion, thank you very much. Oh, yeah. These guys are fun. You can't actually inhale these guys because if you try, they turn into that. And it's quite terrifying. Particularly for a six year old where you're like, Ugh! What's he doing? I'm getting flashbacks slash flash forwards to how insane this whole bit gets when um, uh, when you're in the extra game. Everything is on steroids in the extra game. There are more enemies, faster enemies, and uh, oh, John, pay attention. Be stop talking for a little minute, and you might survive. Right now you're on one health, and that's not good for anybody, is it? And it looks like they're throwing stuff. Yeah, that's always useful. This little anime, I never realized when I was a kid that he was a, a little knight. And you know, you can see, I always thought like he, that was a beak, not a helmet. But such as, uh, such as pixelated design. It's funny the things that you see and the things that you don't see when you're a kid. But uh, no, I remember this, and and because because you always had a limited amount of um, uh, a limited amount of games that you could play anyway. It was that that's one thing I always loved about games was it was a game that you could actually finish. I still remember all these all these uh, 
secrets, the shortcuts. Um, but it, yeah. Ow. Oh, I'm really sore. Nice. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that uh, lemon slash leaf power up. It um. Uh, it allows you to. It allows you to fly and blow out little puffs without actually deflating, which is very convenient, particularly whenever there's no floor. Shazam. Oh yeah, just jump right over it. That's great. It's great. It's great. Into the stars we go. Oh my god, I still I haven't played this game in years and yet I actually I still remember where all the wee bits and pieces are. And as a kid as well, you're like, oh these are so many points blocks, I'm gonna get every single one of them. Now I'm just like Nope. Waste of time. <laughs> I need to get through here. I don't need to But that's the thing. You know, because ah, like the points don't really amount to anything in this, unless maybe you're like playing for points, like you know, if you're saving a high score, I suppose. That is one way you could go about doing it. But uh, yeah, I don't really, really pop these unless I have to, or unless it's this little guy hiding behind. I was just to insist on getting that guy. And the power of great game design, you can just sneak right past everybody. Ah, uh, wonderful. Whoops. Well, I suppose that was karma, wasn't it? Alright. What's this guy doing again? He dived, didn't he? I think he does. Giant cloud. Something like that. Oh, uh, it's in the extra game that he dive bombs right at you. Well, I suppose he's dive bombing at me right there. Oh no, that was me. Uh, but no, it's slightly less escapable because he corners you. The extra game is so well designed because it it just it ups it ups the ante on everything. Um without having to completely redesign the game. And I remember, like, for ages as a kid, you know, I'd, I'd ah, play through the game over and over and over again. And it'd always tell me at the end, it's like, oh, the extra game. And, um, and, I'd, and I'd try the extra game. And I'd try the first level, and I couldn't get past the first mini-boss. It was just so hard. And I was just like, okay, this isn't for me. But then I suppose eventually I, I got better and better. Uh, I played many more games, such as the Mario Land games, the Donkey Kong Land games. And I was like, okay, I think I can beat this new game. <gasps> the music of this is so badass. Ah, oh, it's so good. Like, as a kid, I would actually tape record music from video games. I actually think I still have one or two of those tapes. True story. Um, and I would uh, and I would listen to it. Like, I mean, of course nowadays you can just listen to it on YouTube and it's great. Just type in Kirby's Dreamland OST and away you go. Back into Dreamland. I actually, I still listen to a lot of video game music while I work. Um, while I, particularly while I'm illustrating because because it's relaxing and it's designed to sit in the background. Speaking of music in the background, I always thought I always thought it was cool with that. Oh, oh, that hurt. The apple hit me in the back of the head. Maybe I'm going to develop the entire concept of gravity in my head. Apple fell in my head, and all of a sudden it made sense that that apple didn't fall onto my head. That apple was pulled to the ground. And if it could continue, it would go all the way to the center of the earth. I'm not gonna really, you know, go all in on uh, Isaac Newton right now. But uh, guy was a legend. Whee! 
I always, I was always slightly scared about like the little um, evil twins, uh, very mer mercilessly slaughter. Uh, I love how you, like you don't even have, you, all you have to do is just touch them. You know, it's like some curse being lifted. You can touch your own, your own copy. I loved this as well as a kid where it was completely mind blown where uh, uh, you went back and did little new sections of of previous uh, previous levels it was really cool these guys in the extra game are a lot of fun because they're super fast okay there we go This bit always terrified me as a kid. I just wasn't great at it. But of course, I suppose because as a kid, I would press up for when I was flying. But of course, something that you can do once you're inflated, you can press jump and it also helps you. There we go. I should really try to not get hit by this guy, but I always, he always seems to be able to hit me. I never seem to be able to hit him. More time watching him than I watch his bullets, so that's probably the, the reason why. There we go. That was easy. Okay. Alright, I have a sixth sense telling me to just drop to the far, far, far extreme right. And I don't mean that politically, because the extreme right are terrible. Oh, that was way too close. Again, that was way too close. I cannot believe I survived that. Okay, right. Let's see. Can I get through this guy without getting hit once. It's possible. Much more stressful, but possible. Okay. Yeah, whenever he does that, that's the worst one, because you're in the middle. You look, I'm eating here. And he's like, I don't care, I'm diving here. See, the stakes are high now. He's nearly dead. But so am I. All he has to do is tap me once and I have to do it all over again. But that's not happening. Not today. Although, full disclosure, I'm <laughs> I'm not bothered being stressed fighting King DDD while this is happening. We good old King DDD. There we go. This guy is this guy is really tough in the in the um, extra game because he's so fast. Is it is it DDD who is um, banned from Smash? Oh no, it's Meta Knight. I think he shows up. Do you know I've I've never actually played a a, a full Kirby game. I've never, like this, this to me is always Kirby, I'm Kirby for me, uh, which is quite funny. So I'm sure in my Let's Plays, there'll be plenty of games which I'll be playing for the first time, which is exciting. I'm going to, I'm going to play a lot of games, obviously I'm going to be focusing on retro games because I love retro games. Um, there we go, take that DDD! Um, but, um, yay! But no, there there are quite a few games where I will totally be uh, totally be playing through. 
which I have never played before. So I'm quite excited about that. Although I'm probably not going to be as good at them because I don't practically know them off by heart. This game I have played so many times. Ah, oh, the credits. I always find this... Oh. Masa Sakurai. Um, I always find this like amazing. or it's, it's quite amazing actually nowadays looking at these and seeing just how few people actually worked on these games. You know? Whereas nowadays, you know, credits will run and run and run and run. But when you actually... Special thanks, Bobby. Thanks, Bobby. And Cypher. Oh, wow. Were you a hacker in the 90s? My name is Cypher. Oh. It was so satisfying. And so many players. Thank you, players. Kirby's Dreamland. Presented by... Hal Laboratory. Oh, good times. They're the guys who went on to make um, Smash Brothers, I do believe. Thank you for playing. I always thought this was so cool when I was a kid, like, you know, where it would, you'd see these new sprites, you know, new, the same character you've been playing as, but all of a sudden he's big on the screen, you know, it's funny. Bye bye. You look so sad. <laughs> but happy at the same time. Oh, and here we go. Key to the extra game. Of course, you can literally just buy the game fresh and just start straight with the extra game if you know uh, how to play it. I never quite understood this as a kid. It was like, okay, so up and A and select is like all at the same. So I'm just gonna reset it because we're gonna go play the extra game now. And this is so much fun because all of a sudden, nothing is as it seems. Enemies are either, it, the, the, the new enemies do twice the damage. And uh, there's even an option uh, where, whoa. Yeah, this is a much, much, t ow! See, everything hurts. Now, this 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 was again as far as I got for ages. Whenever I'd go about playing the extra game, oh yeah, whoa, could be so fast. But this is where your platforming skills come into it because as as a new player, where you're just used to flying like that, you can't do that. It's that's where you need your jumping. Oops. You know, that's where you need your ability to jump quickly. And ah! That was painful. Okay. I need to be much more careful now. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm being super cautious because I don't want to die. Because that would be a grand inconvenience. But it is a great kind of remix. Do you know what? Speaking of remixes, a game that I... Because I know the original off by heart as well is uh, Ocarina of Time. I've still never played Master Quest. I've owned it since I was 14. But I never um, decided to play the ring mix, so I must give that a shot at some point. Okay, here we go. First boss. Again. I loved doing this as a kid. You can actually go down. Land on his head. Whee! Everything is on steroids. All the bosses are on steroids. First time I saw that, I was like, oh my god, this means business. Oh, whoops. Oh, why did I do that? Hmm. 
Our spike balls like do, I think, like three damage. Whoa. Oh, that was mildly stressful. <laughs> Yeah, the extra game really challenges your uh, your platforming skills big time and your reaction skills. Speaking of which, I always love, like, the extra game just throws everything at you. Like, that little guy who just comes straight down at you. Because in the original game, of course, they, um, in the original, uh, of course, they wait for a while before they go. But this one, they just go straight at it. Terrifying jack o -lander. Ow! I was pressing B. This is what I get for making fun of it being way too easy in the first game. I'm just running under everything. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and not only are they throwing spikes at you, but... Do you know what? Actually, I think I'm best. Wait, no. Uh, not only are they throwing spikes at you, but uh, they're much, much faster. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. There we go. Oh! Oh, that was lucky. That was very sudden. I have to concentrate much more on this one. Particularly because I'm about to die. Oh, come on. Yeah, you have to be so quick with them. You can barely get hitting them on those top levels, actually. There we go. Now we're talking. Uh, I'm not even going to go near the top. I think, from what I remember, if I run up to the side of this... Yes. That's exactly what I need. <sighs> okay. There we go. Yeah, this game is a lot tougher. Yeah. Okay, they jump now too, which is always fun. These guys now are much, much faster. And mildly more stressful. Oh, I don't want that. Yeah, and your best bet is to take it off take it off them while they're coming. Uh, and then get them next time round rather than trying to get it off them. Ah, oh, good. Kill them in the right order. Because each of them, Lolo Lo and La 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 have a have an individual health bar so if you hit them in the right order so I hit Lolo three times in a row so he died which means I've only, I've only got la 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 running after me I can't remember the names of all of them but I always remember Lolo and la 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 I think are they like playable characters in something like I just remember they're great names you know Lolo la 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 dee 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 They really thought hard about them. Although, that being said, I still remember them years and years and years later. Although they are the names of the levels that they are in, so... Who's to know, guys? I love how those enemies just slowly but surely home in on you, those, um... wee winged guys. And they do twice the damage. That hurt, Charlie. Yeah, and if you fall from the right height... Oh, great. That was nice. <laughs> if you fall from the right height, you can actually... Um, uh, kill your enemies. Oh, yeah, I forgot they were actually explosive. That's convenient. Okay. Wee. Okay, is it worth going that way? 
I don't think so. Okay, it's funny because in the original game, the coconut is on the left. And so you're going up here going, haha, I know, but no, coconut's on the right in the extra game. I remember that much. <laughs> this game takes no prisoners. If you think you know the original game, I think this time I am going to go the extra step because I think I need to. Because I think I need this life this time. And I'm going to take no chances. Because this game gets tougher and tougher and tougher and the boss of this level, I mean, I barely survived him in the normal version. out of his range and from what I remember there is a full health no ah oh, it was a full single game see no prisoners they they do not care that you are about to die okay and here we go to board the pirate ship oh and we get shot instantly I'm gonna die here. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Oh! That always used to terrify me as a kid because it makes the same sound when it, if you jump into the water while you've still got your spicy, spicy food on. Um, it makes the same sound as when you die. And it needs to make a big violent spike sound. Wonderfully timed. Particularly after I concentrated so hard. Oh, excellent. Excellent. This is going to bring me to the boss. And I have two hit points left. So that's excellent. I'm... I'm, I'm totally going to survive this boss fight right now. I'm thoroughly excited right now. Because... Here we go. I'm literally just after thinking how this, uh, there we go, that was inevitable. Um, but uh, I just realized how this is a transition into the next level, because the next level is obviously, um, what's the word? Here we are, flying up into the bubbly clouds. It's this guy, it's almost as if this guy is guarding the next stage. Oh, there we go. Yay. And into the clouds we go deeper and deeper and deeper. Well, I suppose this is dreamland. You know, there's an entire backstory. I, uh, I miss that in games now. Anytime I get a new game, there's no manual. I used to... The manual was one of my favorite bits. It had all sorts of artwork in it. It had loads of backstory, you know, whereas I suppose nowadays the backstory is actually in the game. They can afford to give a big, long, broad, detailed thing. But, uh, but oh, I loved a good manual filled with all sorts of illustrations, which I could then copy. Although what I did uh, take to do was um, I would pause the game and uh, like this and uh, draw pictures of all the bad guys as well. Uh, and particularly the final bit, because, you know, there's no internet, or at least rubbish internet, so... Yeah, and of course the umbrellas try to kill you now, the umbrellas will track you down, and they will murder you and your entire family. Um, this guy about to pop up from the box. Yep, I knew he was coming, and he still got me. Great um, boomerangs. Yes, I remember the boomerangs. Yeah. There are many, many bits of this that I do totally remember. Because they are scaring. Because they will kill you. Like, look at these guys. Look at how fast they're coming. Okay, yeah. So they go down here and blow these guys up because I think there's something insane coming from above. Yes. 
it's weird how you develop these like sense memories uh, and muscle memories and uh, how in this case it's like you remember these like little gaming secrets and you, it's like I, I I know not to go down there I, I, I know I'm gonna go here instead and uh, it's quite strange Ah, that hurt way more than it should have. You know, like this little shortcut here. I, I, I genuinely, I, I can't even remember what's in the rest of that level up there because I learned that shortcut so early on that I just always took it. You know, <laughs> it was like that bit in uh, Wario Stadium. There was a while where I just, whoa. Nearly wiped me out. Uh, there's a bit in Wario Stadium in. Um, I do remember this. Yes. Yeah. If you don't know to duck in that corner, this boss is exceptionally hard. Bosses are so well redesigned. I love it. You know, it just makes for such a challenging version of uh, an otherwise very easy game. Oh, that was close. And he flies away to the end of the level. And into the stars I go. Oh, excellent. These spikes are coming to kill anything that they can get their hands on. And I am going to have that complete full health, thank you very much. Oh, that, 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 that was great. You could, you could clearly see how much effort I put into dodging him, and yet I hit him anyway. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's always a great sign. Um, boom. He dies. And then we go... Oh, yeah. And from what I remember, I think these stars hurt you. Yep, they do. Literally, as I'm saying it, these stars hurt you, don't they? And then I run right into one. I suppose there's no other way of knowing. This game wants me dead. Let's see, can I do... Oh, no, because the boomerangs actually fly behind. Oh, no, no, they turn around. There we go. Yeah, no. That's what I get for being a smart ass. And those umbrellas want everybody dead. Oh, wow! Oh, yeah, the boss already. Yeah, he does that then. That's always fun. I jumped, and I should not have jumped. Um, there we go. Schmeck. Yeah, this, this, again, he's a worthy, uh, and, and they haven't even changed that much about this boss in particular. I suppose, you know, most of the bosses, they just sped up, but this one, you know, he's just... It's a great boss. Even though, yeah, technically, I am staying in one spot and dodging him completely. You know? It's still a challenge. I always love how, you know, all, all those things blowing up, it actually creates a little bit of lag, but by doing that, it actually create almost makes it like um, slow motion. 
Oh, here we are. Final level again. Except this time I have to defeat all of those stupidly difficult bosses. Well, they're not stupid. Oh, that, that was a bit, that was a bit harsh. I'm giving them a bit more credit than they're worth. That being said, <laughs> wait till I get to the... I still have to defeat them all first. I'm going into this one first because this one always takes the most health out of me. Because I'm I'm the worst at dodging this one, so. As long as I don't impale myself on spikes. Alright. Let's concentrate on where the cannonballs are, John. See, that was worth it. <clears throat> okay. Uh, is there any health in any of these places? I don't think there is. So I'm just going to hop in here. I think I can actually technically beat this guy with one without getting hit. Because you've literally just watched me do it. But watch this, he's going to kill me now. Stakes are high. And all I have to do is to not jump once or jump slightly late and it'll get me. Watch this. He's gonna do it. That's self fulfilling prophecy. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh dear. That's fun. Oh, I may as well go on. Get him over and done with now. Yeah, I love that. Like once, once you fall a certain height, uh, you automatically kill your enemies. As opposed to Mario, he's like, I don't need any speed. I I do often like wonder or kind of feel bad for game designers. Like, whenever they do design something so massively, you know, like this, you know, that's that has all sorts of movements, but there's literally, like, w one spot that you can avoid almost everything. Like, I wonder, do they just spot in there, or, you know, oh, we thought you'd have to run and jump everywhere, but no, you can literally just stand in the corner and do this, and it's great. But it's fine, I mean, I'm not complaining. Schmack! See, it's like slow motion. Bullet time! Alright, and I love how even the returning bad guys have, um, uh, they've got like new movement patterns so like you know the little guys who usually would just run back and forth and I jump randomly okay. let us concentrate a little bit schmack you want to press B there John Ooh, no you don't want that to happen And that is what happens. There we go. Yeah, because they all have their own individual health bar, you can technically reduce, reduce them both by two. So there's so both of them are still running around on two hit points, which can be slightly frustrating. Okay, and into green greens again. 
Back to where it all started. Like, I'd say I am not the only person out there who this was their first video game. Um, of course not. It's almost as if the Game Boy was a financially successful, thoroughly uh, available uh, console. Who's to know? Oh, that was way too close for my liking. Ah! Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, no! Oh, what happened? I knew exactly what happened. Oh, that was, um, disappointing, to say the very least. Again. <laughs> I, I, I love the, uh, <laughs> flying over all of this intricate, well, I suppose it's, it's not intricate, but all of this level design. But that, that is, I think, what makes this game good. You know, it is as difficult as you want to make it sometimes. Aww. Ow! Okay. Let us concentrate. I hear the little clouds that he blows out. Oh! Whoa! Okay, there we go. And once again, and I'm, I'm sorry guys, I, the, the, this guy's already hard as it is. I don't, I, I, I don't want to try and fight him. I don't want to try and fight him on very low health. Did I, get hit? Did I get hit twice? Boom. Okay. I didn't need to get... Ah! Oh. Oh man. That's that. That's that. Excellent. <sighs> he is very fast. Aww. Seriously? Okay. No, 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 no. I'm just giving away these. Oh, I actually swallowed a star. That's great. Pretty I gave away three hit points right from the word go. I'm completely under jumping. Yeah, there's never any guessing how many times he's going to jump like the super jump. is stressful. I've got one life left. And I'm not sure is that like does it go to zero zero? Does it go to zero lives left? I think it does. Oh it's too close too close too close Okay you can do this you can do this come on Let's not give a whole pile of free hit points okay, instantly. Oh, why? Oh, man. 
Oh no! Well, at least I got him too. Oh no! Uh, there, there's just... Yeah. Oh, man. I have to... Oh! Oh, but do I have to do all of the stuff again? Oh, okay, cool. At least I can just fight him. Right. It's just so hard to preempt what he's going to do. And that's the problem, is you quite often have to preempt it. But if you preempt in the wrong way, then different things happen. Ooh. Maybe I should like stop talking. Yeah, you can you can do like you can do that if you want. That would be very useful. Giant penguin. Whoa. All right, I can do this. I can do this. Okay, yeah, you can send it in that direction. almost entirely forget how to control a game. Okay, next, next hit wins. Yeah, boy! Get it up, yeah! Ah, there we go. <laughs> uh, fun. <laughs> Even though I did did need a, an extra continue. He's, he's tough. He's a tough boss. And I haven't played this game in years. So, uh... So that is Kirby Streamland. Yay! And that's the extra game as well. Ah, oh, thank you once again, Master Sakurai. Oh, that was stressful. <laughs> Why do I do that to myself? But yeah, so um, I I'm looking forward to uh, going through a lot of old games that I played uh, when I was a kid. Not just on the Game Boy, uh, on Sega Mega Drive, Sega Genesis for all you North American folks out there. Um, what else? some Super Nintendo games. I didn't grow up with a Super Nintendo, so there's a lot of Super Nintendo games that I have yet to play in their entirety. I have only played the first couple of levels of Super Mario World, so I may have... I've, n I've never properly played Super Mario 3. I've only ever played the first... or Super Mario Brothers 3. Um, so there's a lot of games like that where uh, I, I, ha I have it all ahead of me. But then I've got the Sonic games. I mean, as I said, I had a Mega Drive, so I will definitely be playing some Sonic. I love Sonic. Still love Sonic. Um, so yeah, so this has been Kirby's Dream Land. Oh, this is the bit that I love, actually. Uh, different, um, uh, all the different enemy sprites. 
I want their name as Poppy Brothers Jr. Cappy, Rizzo, Twizzy. Like they've got such great little names. Poppy Sr. Wispy Woods. They're so great. Broom Hatter. Mumbies. Glunk. Two Face. Buller. La la la. And la la la. Yes. I do remember those. And yeah. Wizard. Squishy. Blipper. Taboo. Coner. Like they've got such. This guy starts with a B as far as I remember. Ah, oh, Kabula. And yeah, I knew there was a big B in there. Kabula. Sir Kibble. <laughs> Dizzy. Cooper. Puffy. Scarfy. Scarfy, really? It's a good city in Poland. Oh, and then all the steroid boys. Tuki, Kuzer, Blopper. Blopper, lovely. Yeah. Scholar Chucky. <laughs> Mr. Pumpkin. Oh, Mr. P. Umpkin. wonder if he's anything to David S. Pumpkin. Any uh, Blatzy. Boomer. Okay, Boomer. <laughs> okay, Boomer. And there he is. King DDD. Oh, and he gets small E's. That's interesting. King DDD. And of course, you're a hero. Config mode. So, of course. Now, funnily enough, I and you get a different animation because you've beaten the loving crap out of him twice. Aww. I love this. <laughs> oh, he's crying. Poor DDD. Oh, he's sulking. <laughs> ah, forgot about that. That's great. Yeah, so then you got the config mode, which, funnily enough, I discovered by accident. Um, when I was a kid, because I remember, you know, you got your extra game by pressing up, A, and select. So at one time I decided, let's press down, B, select. And then you get your configuration where you can make the game as difficult as you want. You can give yourself nine lives. Vital. It's called Vital. There we go. And so, this is... Mm. And uh, the game we get. But for now, folks, that was Kirby's Dream Land. I hope you enjoyed it, and thank you ever so much for watching. Of course, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at John D. Ruddy. And you can also support this channel through Patreon. So please get over there and support, please. Thank you.